chess.com and uh, we'll be playing for about 45 minutes. And if you like, if you like uh, what you're watching, uh, please subscribe. We're playing um, Chris Odd 2166 from Croatia. Let's play Queen here, a threatening mate. Sometimes they overlook it. I'll play Bishop F4 with the idea of knight checks. Take that off. Gains a little bit of time, and sometimes it's just uh, uh, it's not a bad idea to play these kind of things. Just play c3, something solid. Just don't want him to castle easily or anything like that. So um, I'll play um, bishop e5. It's just a good move. And I don't have to worry about my position too much. I, well, someone would say that I let him off the hook, but not quite. I'll play knight f3 and um, g3, bishop g2 and castles. Now, I should have a reasonably good game. Um, he's certainly f6. Um, I'll play queen, oh, I can't play queen d2. I can play queen d2, f6, the takes, takes. It's a bit tricky. Um, Oh, castle. Um, we both end up with weaknesses here. I'm going to play, I can't play b3. Uh, let's see now, it's not a bad move. I'll play, I can play there, it doesn't help me. Um, it's not a bad idea he's playing here. I'll play rook on the a file to c1. Preparing to play b3. b3, okay. And knight takes. I had serious problems after he played f6. So I'm very happy to have got that position. Uh, get to, to, to get out with that position. So I'm going to play knight d3. The idea is to play knight c5 and just lock him up a bit. Tie him up in knots if I can. I don't want him to get any freedom. He's thinking about this. He was playing very, very fast. Kresod from uh, Croatia. So I'm playing f4 now. I just don't want him to play e5. I don't want him to play c5. I'm happy if I can bottle him in. I need my rook on f file to e, e, e1 as well. Just in case he plays f6 or he tries some silly stuff. I'll play knight, knight here, knight attacks the bishop, that's logical, and then rook on the f file to e1. So uh, we can just uh, lock in all our advantages. So now we'll just play queen to e4, if, e, uh, e5, and now uh, after pawn takes bishop, we've got a, a significant advantage here. Uh, he's not, I mean, missed knight takes bishop, and now I've got bishop takes pawn, next move. Bishop takes pawn, hits two castles, and then I just take a castle and play c4. And that should be enough to, to, to win comfortably. I'll just take with the, uh, the pawn. Don't want him getting an outpost on, on there. And I can just play d5 now. That's good enough. Um, D, D, D5, yeah. Um, there's, he, there's a backlink mate theme there, and uh, he wouldn't like that at all. So I just I can push the pawn on the uh, on the rook. He can't really take it. That's just now I can put, hit his knight. And the problem is that uh, there's a backlink mate theme again. There's the check there, see? And unfortunately, that's the end of the game. So, um, new, new game now. 
And we'll see who we're playing now. We're playing Rube 2136 from Netherlands. Um, E5, let's see, 6, A6. So we're playing like a Rai Lopez system. And uh, we'll play B5, Bishop E7, castles. Just the usual solid stuff. Uh, D6 and bishop to g4. That should be alright. It's not too bad. Uh, knight, I've got knight there. We play c5. So, so it's not, not a bad game. Uh, he's going there. Um, oh, I could take it and play knight there, I suppose. Um, I can go back. Could go get lo get lots of problems if I go back. I'll just go here. Um, he gets a good outpost, and I I'm sort of happy, I suppose. Um, let's see now. What, what is he doing? I'll just play uh, rook c8. He's moving. I'll move back to. I'm not doing anything if he doesn't do it. Yeah. See, the bishop takes. Queen there. Um, queen e7. Rook to um, b8. <clears throat> I don't know what he's doing. I play J six. There he goes. Um, take that off. Do we take that off? Oh, it opens him up. A king to the corner. It's not a bad idea. Just run in the corner and play rook g8. See what happens. I can play h5. Queen's trapped. Next game. Let's give him a rematch. Old Rube. He played well. He was beating me and then he just realised he just trapped his queen. He had all his pieces around my king and he trapped his queen. So, just uh, unfortunate. It just shit happens sometimes. Excuse the language. <laughs> it's terrible. But that's what happens in chess. We, we have these problems and uh, sometimes they're insurmountable. Take the pawn. Um, pawn there. We'll just do that nonsense. We'll just see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> pin the knight, I suppose. Uh, bishop h4. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to suppress him getting out of his uh, position. So I just want to um, play bishop here now. I just want to stop him uh, getting out of his uh, locked in position there a bit. Not without, he's got to weaken his king, right? That's basically what he's got to do. He's got to weaken his king for... Um, for me to uh, he'll take his knight, his pawn takes. I don't know what that happens. He'll take his knight. 
Oh, you gotta bust his king side sometimes. Somehow, you gotta bust his king. Um, I've got pawn takes pawn. That win that just wins the center pawn. Of course, his rooks on the other thing. Right now, he's got the. Um, uh, I've got knight here. That threatens queen takes pawn. So it's, it's a sort of a double edged position. Now I've got queen here. Now if if he takes it, I can play check and I, I win the queen, don't I? Or do I win the queen? Check, look, it's queen. Oh yeah, so queen to queen in. How's that move? Go. Well, can he, does he think he can take the knight? I don't know. <clears throat> Soon find out. We'll work out what happens in a second. Goodness gracious, what a, what, what a game of chess this is, eh? Knight up. Knight to e4. So that's, that's the plan. We're going to follow the plan here. Ugh. I like f4 too in this position. Just um, try to blast him open. He's just playing there, is he? Okay. Well, I've got f4. <clears throat> now I'm on your bishop, and I've got the knight to f6 check. All right. Now I've got f5, and I've got that, that attack as well. So you've got queen d2, okay, already right then. I'll play queen c4. So now I'm threatening your bishop, and I'm threatening pawn takes pawn, and um, some attacks. So can I play pawn takes pawn? It, it looks like it just it's just pretty strong. Um, pawn takes pawn. Yeah. And now I've got queen takes knight, and I've got queen takes bishop. So it's, it's a complicated position. Um, I like queen takes knight. Oh, he's, he's taking my rook, so I'll take a pawn with check. So now I, I, I'm going to win a rook in the corner. So that's that's a check there. That's a check with that's a queen with check. Queen takes bishop. Now I'm threatening rook to the f8 check, and I'm threatening rook takes knight in the corner as well. So and threatening queen takes pawn check, and he resigns. So next match we're playing Rube two two one again. Um, yeah, from Netherlands, knight f6. He played really well before. So I've got to be on my guard, g6, bishop g7, castles, just uh, bishop f5, just try to do something different. It's not a great move, but it's 21-21, we play c6. I want to get rid of my weaknesses. Bishop c8. I'm happy to um, oblige here. I'm happy to oblige. I've got long term weaknesses with my pawn on c7, but uh, I don't care. I do care, but I don't care. The devil is in the details. Knight takes pawn. Knight takes pawn takes. Right, so he's on a few things. So now this is where we play queen takes queen. And say knight to g4. You got, got that one. After knight there. Um, he's got this bishop c5 move. I don't like that. 
It's a real nasty. So I'll, I'll play bishop to e6, just threatening his c pawn. Now I can play knight hits bishop and take that bishop off and knight here. That's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse, but that's not too bad. I got out of alive out of that position. So. I think f4, I can play c5. I, 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 I think so. But um, we'll just, we'll soon find out. It's c5. Right. And now rook on the a file to c8. Uh, this is a key position. And now knight c6. And we can, I think we're just, only just holding here. I think I can take that knight. I think I can take it. It might be dangerous to take it. King g7 is not a bad move in this position. King g7. King g7, yeah. There's no checks and no, no discovered checks. I think I've got knight. Knight d4 is all right here. All right. He's, he's taking it. He's, he's uh, giving me giving up the exchange. He must be extremely confident in this position. So I'll play rook here. I'll go to the seventh. Go to the seventh. I can go to the sixth. Now I'll go to the seventh. I don't mind him taking that pawn. I want to take that A pawn. Right, so now we want to take the B pawn. Right, we'll take that B pawn. And we'll just play rook here. And uh, I should be satisfied with that position. Um, now I've got to um, attack that pawn here. The, 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 uh, Rook b6, pawn takes. So now if I can get my king up there, hit his bishop, make his bishop uncomfortable, then he loses. Right, d4. Well, I'll only play a few more games. I just wanted a short video here tonight. And um, I've, I've, I've unsuccessfully tried to make a video. But... Um, I'd slipped up, but we're playing okay now, and we hope to give you good content. Some good solid games against good players. Right, now the battle is on for ideas here. I'd like to play Look to d1 and d5. I saw the great master um, pawn there. This follows the game Tigran, Petrosian, and um, uh, Lev Polygayevsky, I believe. Pretty close. And this position. 
is uh, interesting. All right. Well, night takes night check. Does queen take with a good game, does it? So what's the correct move here? The knight takes knight check, queen can take. So the correct move, is it queen f1? It might be queen f1. I'm trying to take advantage of the, um, the bishop here. And the white squares, the white central squares, the opening. Um, I've got bishop to. I've almost got bishop to. I. Oh, bishop takes bishop. And queen to knight five. It look, it takes two pieces at once. How do you save a piece? That's the question. That's the question one would ask oneself. How do you save a piece? Queen takes knight looks like it's all over. And queen takes bishop. Maybe these are the things in a Lev Poligayevsky, um, it was from, from the 1967 Russian Championship, I believe, in round 14. It was uh, one of my videos. Um, I'm going to play a new game because I, I want to play a new player, a new three-minute game, because we've played Rube a few times, and we want to give someone else a chance. So we're playing Budmir 2156 from Serbia. Just getting developing our pieces, doing nothing brilliant. Not that we ever do, but we're just trying to um, basically get everything working. Take with the bishop. Now, if the knight ever moves, we could change bishops. That's right. And now we're quite happy with this position. Let's play knight b5 to d7. And we should be able to equalise fairly easily. Um, I think we have to take that. And uh, one would think knight to f6 would be the correct move in the position. So, well, we've got uh, our pieces all developed. And we can change queens easily with a queen check. And we get uh, a nice pawn structure for the end of the game. Yeah, we're very happy with this position. Castles, queen side, I suppose. Oh no, castle king side. But I've got no real weaknesses. So all I really want to do is play rook on the f file to d8 and double rooks on that pawn. Uh, he wants to swap off bishops. My bishop is better than his bishop for the moment. So I, I'm not really keen on swapping off bishops straight away. So I just improved my position. Right. And um, he's asking those logical questions about Oh well, what do you what do you what do you plan to do? I just make a move and <coughs> try to encourage him to push his um, C pawn or something. Uh, right. By the same token, I, I I've got A six. Put my pawns on the right color squares. I'm not doing anything brilliant. He's playing well.
Okay, I'm playing a rematch. He played a short game there. Again, we're playing Budimir from Serbia. And uh, Budimir played a solid game. Trinchetto, the King's Bishop. Knight f3 in castles. The usual suspects. Try Queen d3 this time. Let's see how we go with that one. Try e4. Knight takes, queen takes, and queen e2. So, okay, so now we're looking at rook on the f file to d1. That's a standard sort of a move. Uh, we've got bishop e3 as well. And we've got h3. Um, we'll try h. Oh, h3 is, is not threatening anything just yet. Play rook on the f file to d1. I, I thought he might play that. In this kind of position, though, um, we actually get a big advantage, I think, with uh, bishop e3. Because he's got a take, and he develops my whole position. Now I just play bishop takes, and everything, everything is attacked, and I, I've got a fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic game. And just hit his queen. He's, he can't develop any of his pieces. His queen's attacked. He's limited for squares. Um, I've got rook d3. I don't know what, how that fares in the position, but I could probably put him on a different square after rook d3. Rook d6, I should say. And now I can move, retreat my rook with the tempo back to d2. He can't play bishop d7 and get his rooks connected. So he's got some real problems here. Now I can play rook d2. So I've improved my position and I'm still threatening bishop to d6. Uh, so I'm threatening bishop d6 and I've played my rook to d2. So I've improved my position. <laughs> so I've virtually had an extra move. And you can see I'm powering up, powering up, threatening to double rooks on the open file. And he won't be able to get his pieces working at all. So now he's just dropped the exchange. So he would be very, very, very concerned now at this stage. Um, because he is now the exchange down. And I've just double rooks. And I'm just threatening simply rook takes knight. So I've done nothing brilliant in the game. I've just played logical chess, move by move, as they say. And now, um, in this position, he, he, his real big forte is the bishop move. But I can play rook to the eighth. And I've got knight e5 too. So knight e5 coming as well. So, so if we play knight e5, he can't play bishop d7. So... He's going to ask himself, what on earth can he do in this position? And, and, and again, these, these are tough questions. These are tough questions because after Rook checks, after Rook checks, <clears throat> and say um, A3, what, what do you do? Okay, so Rook here, Rook back to D2. And now the same questions are asked. How do you improve your position? Right, so now he's got this idea. We'll play B4 and just get our pieces working. And just expand our position somewhat. And uh, we're threatening with C5. So there we go. We've got, we've got that move in. And now uh, what else can we do? Uh, we can play Knight to C4. He still can't play bishop d7, you can see, right? So we play knight, knight to d6. And, and we've got the rooks, the benefits of the rooks on d2 and d1. And are we threat, we're, we're, we're threatening just basically everything. We're threatening knight takes, knight check. Um, rook takes is probably just better than... Be, rook takes may be better, a better move, than the... Um, then the pawn takes, but I'm going to take with the pawn because so I don't feel like I should give him any 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 rest whatsoever.
I want to open him up completely. I, I'm, I'm not happy. I, I just want to bust him wide open and, and, and finish him off. He's now, there's a big check there. I mean, really, he's got no play. Rook here to d4. I'm threatening rook checkmates. So there's a check there. That's, that's a very powerful check. And rook takes knight check. And queen mates. That, that's like an e Paulette mate. I think we'll finish on that. That was a very, very brilliant game on my part. And um, I, I'd like everyone to uh, uh, click the thumbs up if you really like that move. Queen F6 check. And, um, and subscribe if you really want to too. Thank you. I'm going to sign off now.